Do you want to learn how to make some super easy panels that look sort of like this? Or that? Or what about this one? Let's get to it. Yo, does your stream need healing? Then you come to the right place. I'm Dr. Heels, your content cleric, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make some really, really cool panels in a free program today so that you can take your stream to the next level. If that sounds like the kind of stuff you're looking for, I'm doing videos just like this literally every single week. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single one. Also, go ahead, go ahead and glove tap that bell for me just so you make sure you don't miss anything at all. Also, if you wanna come hang out, ask me some questions, wanna see how I design stuff live. I do a little bit of design, a lot of gaming over at twitch.tv slash Dr. Hills every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Would love to have you guys over there. With all that said, let's get into making these panels. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a custom size. I'm gonna go at um, 640, knob 800, that is for a different design. So this size right here, this 640 by 320 is your standard Twitch panel size. Now, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make um, all the ones I showed you in the beginning, plus some just give you some ideas to go with. So the very first thing I did is I just start off with a template. Um, initially, I just typed in Twitch. Um, and as I was scrolling through here, I seen things that kind of gave me ideas. Uh, for example, that one I did in the beginning was just this right here. Um, all I did is I took these and I hold down Alt on my keyboard and I stretch that out to the end. I go ahead and delete everything that I'm not gonna use. So all this stuff, I don't need any of that. I just want this font, which is Hitch Cut. If you wanna do any more branding, there's the font for you. Um, and I just did this and I said about me, just like that. And I'm gonna stretch these guys on out a little bit further. Did I accidentally press enter? Did not mean to if I did. No, I didn't. Okay, just do it like that. For some reason it's not centering. Uh, I'm not sure why, but there we go. Just center this how you want it. Um, and there's a panel. Now what you could do from here is you could duplicate this and you could keep changing this to, um, you know, specs. If you wanna have a, a place for the specs for your computer, click this button to have you know, whatever else you would want, but you could just keep going with this exact same design and keep some really consistent branding. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do a few different ones. Um, I'm just gonna keep scrolling until I see something I like. What I'm looking for at this point is something that fits my brand. So if you're a Minecraft streamer, this may do it. You can change this to be your brand colors. You throw it purple or, or green or yellow, whatever your brand color is, make it that. Leave it white on black to give a nice solid contrast. Um, maybe your stream is a bit more you know, this style, this is like a samurai style. I know I actually have a friend that, that has pretty similar branding to this. Um, again, you're just gonna delete the stuff you don't need. Have this as your about me or your specs or whatever you're gonna do if I can type. Uh, you're gonna alt and drag this out. I'm gonna change this to about, what do you think? About 70. Might be too big, let's try about 60. Right, something like that. Then just make sure it's centered in your screen. And there we go. All you have to do is duplicate this and keep changing the words on it. Um, you know, maybe if you can find more of these images uh, that, that's in the background or something, you can do different stuff with that. But just keep that branding the same. All right, we're gonna click Add Page. We're just flying through this. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff uh, at the end. Don't think it's all just these templates. I have uh, a few other templates and things I wanna show you to give you a pretty cool look. Um, okay, so I'm just scrolling, looking for anything that kind of fits my brand. I thought this one was really good. Um, a lot of people are kind of going with this retro VHS thing. So first thing, I'm going to make that black. And this time around, I actually want to keep it in this pink bar. So we're just going to delete the rest of this stuff. Because uh, we don't need that stuff. Get that out of here. All right, I'm going to hold down Alt again to drag them uh, together. I'm going to center these guys up right under here. Something like that. Looks pretty good. Uh, change this to say about me or Facebook or Discord, you know, literally anything you want to use. And I'll just click this a few times to get it uh, a little bit bigger. And center it back up, you know, and there you go. Of course, you could change out these colors, do anything like that you want. Um, but that's a pretty decent feel. Pretty good look right there. Click add new. We'll just scroll through. I think this is another good one. If you uh, do anything of this, like you play Lego games uh, or anything like that, this is great. I think it's at this point, it's pretty redundant for me to keep showing you how to change this. But there it is. Just just type out your new word. Um, and, and there you go. That's a that's a really good looking panel, actually. Um, again, look through any of these. I actually found this one that I really liked. Again, I just typed in Twitch is the only keyword I've used. I thought this was really good. You can use this for branding. Um, you may be even able to, you know, use a different monster on each panel. Like, how about this one? How say uh, Discord, right? 
um, and we'll bump this up to about 70, right? About 780, 70, just like that. We'll have it over here like this. Take this little monster, make him bigger. He's like yelling at you. But wait a minute, what if we went over here to our elements and we got like a chat bubble, right? Did something like this and, and maybe he is, he's telling you about the discord, right? I don't know, you can play with this a little bit as you wish. Let me make it white. Give this Discord word, we'll make it a little bit smaller, about 50 or so. Uh, position, bring to front, just like that, right? And and maybe he's he's saying that, or or you, you know something like that. It just gives you an idea, something to play with. We also copied those other ones, um, so we have them at our disposal to use, you know, however we wish. It, however we wish, if we want to keep our branding or something like this going. Um, but yeah, here, here's an easy panel. Uh, I'm gonna click Add Page, and I'm just gonna go back to my templates and continue to scroll and I would just I would look through the stuff until I found something that fits my brand but you know maybe there's nothing on here that specifically does fit my brand and what if I am a a and my branding is a little bit more minimal I could type in minimal right um, I could choose you know any of these right here um, something like this may kind of fit my brand right and now instead of uh, that other style I was going with I could do something like this right with this nice script font um, and from right here I could bump that size up quite a bit bump it up to about 50 you know minimal you don't want a super big font you don't want a big typeface something like you know something like that maybe that fits your branding a little bit more but the templates in Canva are are so powerful I think you're almost guaranteed to find something you're gonna like now with that said um, this is simply here but I will say these templates that it's showing you are limited to this size so if you want to do something kind of cool like I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna give this a black background real quick um, and I kind of had this idea so let me show it to you real quick real quick I'm just gonna middle mouse click my home button to take me back home and then up here in search canva it's gonna be searching um, templates and so right here, you see I, I already typed in phone notification um, you can, I think I actually text message is the one I end up going with I'll show you guys a little trick right here uh, that not a lot of people realize you can do but as soon as these come up i already have several different selections uh things i could go with i kind of want to go with a standard like this one right here okay see that text but you can choose any of these styles that you like but i'm going to go with this one and all i'm going to do once it loads up is i'm going to select it i'm going to press Control c i think you might right click and click copy i'm going to go over to this one and i'm going to click paste and there we go. I may have, you may have to allow it, but right there, Canva just pasted in that element from a different screen. So what if I did something just like this and it says, you know, about me, let's give it all caps. And I'll just say, I'd use this as my about me. It's, hey, um, Dr. Heels, I play games and stuff, right? And, and then you could always take this little box right here and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see if we can ungroup it actually ungroup it and so I can adjust just this box make it a little bit bigger right and um, stuff I also design stuff and YouTube you know whatever you can make this your whole about me section and it's in this nice little minimal text message format um, and you, you kind of have that option I think that is just a really really good look okay um, again play with this to your heart's content there's so much you can do with this right here um, but with that said uh, okay, I don't don't know what's up with that. We're just gonna keep going though. All right, so now I'm going to click Add Page. I don't know exactly what's happened there, but uh, I think it's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna close that. And another one I decided to look at um, was like comics. Um, look at comics. I, I think the comics here are really good, um, and I'll show you why. I I've had a couple different ideas, but look right here. So so take for example um, this little sloth, right? Look at all these different ways, but also look at this over here. You have illustrate illustration sets. You have chat bubbles that all match. Um, you can do so much with these. Look at these illustration sets, the, the facial expressions. So say your thing is, is the sloth. You want to take this sloth right here. You also can completely control the color to match your brand. Um, so he can be completely on brand for you. Let's say your colors are... Oh, that's terrible. Okay, find a red. Red and... What goes good with red? Red and pink? Yellow? Oh, okay. Red. Red and red. Red and green. All right. Pick pick colors that work better than what I've done here. Um, but you, you get the point. What if, you know, you could make that fit your uh, fit your branding. And now you can come over here. You can grab his face. Bring it back over here. 
we're just gonna bring it and place his face on him here, which maybe this wasn't the best face for this scenario, but you know, place it how you want it. Um, you're gonna throw a little bit of text over here, right? And this will say, hey, a friend. Right, uh, or w whatever you want your cool little sloth to say. Um, come in here, change your font to something that you know has a little better feel for what you're doing. Let's maybe jump back over here, see what font they're using. What is that, Beth Ellen? That's that's perfect, I think. The designers here know what they're doing. All right, let's not make it all caps. Right, something like that. I don't know. You can kind of kind of adjust this can and and customize it. Um, give it a different color background, maybe you know. They just have it on on like this nice little background here. Maybe we copy this whole background out of here, um, and we'll throw that on here, right? Just just like that. We'll bring this tree on over here. Design is all about playing around. Just so you guys know, right? I'm gonna make these full size. Drag them up just a little bit, something like that. I think looks good. And now we'll send those to the back, right? And, and there we have that. We'll make this this nice purple color that we have right here. You know, something like that. And and there you go. Maybe that's your panel. Maybe that's your branding. I, I don't know. You make it for you. Um, within the the comics, I also found uh, one where a couple of guys were having a conversation um, that I thought really worked, really looked good. Right. So you see all these kind of where people are sitting there talking, they're saying something. Um, I actually found this one originally that I thought was. Uh, kind of cool. I, I kind of liked it. So um, I think this is what I originally used, but let's just say uh, Let's say we want to grab this one right here because they're a little closer and they're having a nice little conversation I'm just gonna control C and copy it once again uh, I'm gonna control V and paste them in in place right here um, I want to make my background to match that color which I think it's that one. Yeah, I think it, there we go and delete this black outline And I'm just gonna select everything the text the chat bubble the chat bubble the text the persons um, and I'm just gonna size them up, right? Something like that. And now your panels could be some sort of conversation. I don't know, like, uh, right, uh, right, like a, Right, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what your thing is, but you know, something like that. There we go, where can I talk to you? Oh, my Discord, silly. You know, size these up just a little bit, not too far, I guess. Um, throw that right there, throw that right there. These are just some unique ideas. I haven't seen anyone do panels, some, anything like this. Have at it, have fun with it. it. What I love about Canva is it lets you be so creative. The fact that you can copy and paste like elements, like any of these elements that I want, any of these little monsters, I mean, if I wanted, I could bring this super cool little monster down here into this picture. I don't know why I would do it, but I could. I could. He could just be there hanging out in the background. No one even knows why he's there, right? But, you know, w whatever. You have that kind of control. So play with it. Have a good time. And if you guys make something using this tutorial, please, please, please join my Discord down below and let me know what you made. Post it in the Share Your Art. I'm really interested to see what you guys come up with. All right, but guys, that is it. That is how we make panels in Canva. It is super easy. It allows you to flex those creative muscles. And if you do make something using this tutorial, do me a favor, join my Discord down below and post it in the share your art. I really wanna see what you guys come up with. I just think there's so many cool things and different ways to fit your own brand and make stuff that other people haven't seen before. Um, but yeah, so I wanna see what you guys do. And by the way, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to sub to the channel. I'm putting out videos using Canva and other free software just like this every single week. So be sure to sub for more. Also, come over and hang out with me on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, pretty late at night. So especially if you're a night out and you need a cool place to hang out, uh, come hang out with me then. Anyway, guys, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, this is it. Can't miss. Uh, they dropped that guy we were shooting.